careful. My hair is here to be dangerous. To change you. Maybe shame you to change you, not me. To be that giggle under my breath, to be that wiggle of my middle finger after I pick my nose, to be that reverse eyeball pinch that pries the lids away from the iris. See, my hair is here for your own good. Because at first, you may want to scrimp me away, <laughs> but then I'll dilate why when you're ready to see. See, my hair is here to force you to again decide. My hair is carrying a protest sign. My hair is getting beaten by cops. My hair is giving America a bad name. My hair is every goddamn hippie who ever spit on every non-baby killer be out there. My hair is every half-ass ponytail with a half-ass ass that also happens to have a full beard. My hair is, is begging you not to tease it back. But my hair is hoping that you can see right through it because my hair suspects that you may be human. My hair expects it's the least you could do. Next week, I come back here with some old fat guy buzz cut, still wearing these same clothes, still tearing at this fake to see if there's anything left that's real. My hair may lie in some landfill. And it won't be able to hide you. You actually have to see me. Hate me on your own. You'll probably be afraid. So for now, yeah, go ahead. Talk to the hair. Yeah, suckle on that pseudo superiority. Go ahead, try it. But be careful, because that's the dangerous part. That's where my hair does its dirty work. Be careful. Because someday, when you least expect it, some guy's going to come in here with some magic poem. See ya. And I'm talking some ragtag, derelict, walking piece of propaganda for white urban flight, and you'll be there all nervous, all hemming and hawing and looking for someone to say, Ooh, don't come any closer! When he reaches for his pocket, but the poem that comes out will be magic. The poem will be magic. It'll cure your cancer. Yank your cataracts. It'll hoist your step. Meanwhile, you'll be sitting there Sitting inside your afflictions, waiting with your rhymes, waiting with the door open, looking out for someone looking in. And when it happens, and when it's magic, I hope you're not recoiling. Pray you'll be listening.